Push it real good. What's up, Rabbit Gang? It's your girl, Kira Rabbit, and yes, I am back with another video. I did this lace. I did this. I did this. Look, as you can tell by the title, a girl is out here doing big things. So, this hair reminds me of Rogue because she had, like, brown, and then she had, like, a blonde streak at the top, and it's just giving me that type of vibe. I don't know. So basically, pretty much, this is another hair video. I'm going to be plucking this hair, of course, you know, doing all the little shabam wham whistles. And then I'm going to be slaying it. So I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up according to, you know, my skills and how I did, you know. I think I did a good job. Baby hair's on fleek. I'm turn to this side with the little brown streak. Okay. So it's blonde with the, um, with the side burn and then on this side. With the brown street come through so if you are new here welcome subscribe to my youtube channel like this video because your girl look hot right now i mean you can already tell this is going to be a dope video so just go ahead and like the video anyway comment down below and let me know what type of content that you like so that i can create it for you so that i won't get bored sitting here trying to figure out <laughs> which i like so without further ado we are on to the next part of this video Rabbit Gang, yes, this company is by Love Micah, fashionable, colorful wig store. The hair is about 30 inches long. It is 150% density. It is a 14 by 6 inch uh, lace frontal. I prefer these lace frontals over the partial lace frontals because it just gives me more range dynamic range to work with as far as like you know styling and stuff like that um it's either gonna be this type of lace or a full fr lace frontal i do believe this is a transparent type of lace but i do tweak the lace as far as like washing the hair and then i uh, pluck the hair throughout this video because I don't want to be a chatty patty and I mean the video kind of speaks for itself and I kind of want to just give you just you know some comfort you know just to sit back and listen to some music and just see a girl do her hair but this is the beginning of the plucking stages we're gonna go ahead and start plucking this hair right now and just making it look more natural I'm just more into looking natural when you're wearing lace frontals Make sure you guys get you a good set of tweezers. Um, just having a good set of tweezers to pluck the hair, it just makes a big difference because having just a bad pair of tweezers, and you guys know they easily bend. You know the bad tweezers. You know they just, you know they don't get anything. They can't grasp anything. You barely can use them on yourself. So it's just like why, you know, use them to pluck hair. taking a little bit of sections and I'm just parting it and just you know just plucking you'll see how natural it starts to look as I pluck pluck pluck
monkey. I got this spray bottle from a local uh, beauty supply. Um, I paid about like maybe like five dollars for this bottle. Um, it comes in handy, especially when you need to like re-moisturize certain areas like other hair or just you know you don't feel like just um, take rushing into the sink to wet it. And now we're in the blow drying stages. We'll go ahead and start blowing drying the hair so we can start prepping it for straightening. This hair is so long. I was really expecting it to be as long as it was. I mean, 30 inches. Um, it's pretty long, but I mean, it looks about at least a 32 to maybe 34 inches when I had put the hair on. Like, it's really, it's super long, and I'm actually really excited about that. I'm glad they actually put some extra length in the hair. Now I straighten, I pre-straighten my hair before I put it on just because it's just easier for me to manage when I do put it on. Just in case if I want to go in and um, like either further straighten it, um, it's already in the process of being there in that stage. <laughs> um, or if I want to curl it, it's already straightened or flat enough so I can just go ahead and start, you know, part and section. It just makes it easier. That's all. Now I'm going to go ahead and start trimming the hair to add some body, some volume, you know, some definition to the hair. Put a couple of layers in the front. Clip the ends a little bit. And I did tell y'all that I was not going to be talking throughout this whole video, so let me shut up. In case anybody didn't know I was doing, I was just further um, pushing those baby hairs back so it'll have me a, a smooth laying process of the lace. And I'm tinting the lace right now as we speak, giving it a more uh, natural scalp effect. put that on we're gonna go ahead and start creating that ball cap method um so yeah
I'm going in with got to be glue to mold it and you know the natural stuff that you're supposed to use. I don't know any other products. If there are some, leave them in the comment section and I'll go check them out. I think this is the hardest part of this process. I mean, laying the lace is kind of hard too, but trying to get this ball cap method just right without like, you know, revealing too much of your real hair or just just properly placing it where it needs to be so that you can lay your lace. It's just the hardest thing to do, you know, for me. Now that my um my stocking cap is laid on my scalp, it's time to go ahead and slay this lace. I like to just move all the hair out the way. Um, some people use clips. I like to use um, hair ties, especially if the hair is long. And if I further need to get any more small hairs out the way, then I'll clip it with some clips. But yeah. Now I'm gonna cut those ear tabs off, those extra ear tabs that I have hovering over my ears. I want my wig to sit behind my ears. So we're just gonna cut off that extra lace. Now it's time to start with the bow hole and start to go ahead and um, apply my lace and lay her. I'm gonna do two um, two layers of this um, because I don't plan on having this wig on for that long, a week maybe at the most. But I want to secure the the wig for as long as I can because I kind of sleep well and I tend to sweat. So two layers I feel is enough for me. sure that's aligned up with you know your scalp put it up in front of your hairline make sure you do not lay this lace on your hair or put the glue on your hair it's not good for your hair your edges will come out 
Trust me, they will. Put it in front of your hairline. Maybe like a centimeter in front of it. One to two centimeters is good enough. white film up under there where people can see you have to like put extra makeup on just to cover it up or not it just looks tacky just don't do it guys just make sure that the glue is 75 percent dry before you put your lace on just so that I can melt the lace on there because we just laid it now. Now we got to melt it and slay it. So we're going to go ahead with this wig band. I got two of them and we're going to wrap these around my edges so that this lace can further melt into my scalp. And I'm going to take the blow dryer of course and help it out a little bit more. baby hairs in the front do not worry about those because you can create more baby hairs you need to cut that extra lace that's on that hair you cut it off everything that's stuck down to your scalp is not going to come up just cut off any extra lace that's not supposed to be there cut it off you don't need it
now I'm gonna go in with my wrap lotion or my mousse and go ahead and mow my baby hairs down and cut them and all that extra good stuff. I like baby hairs. I just, I just, I just do. I can do the other natural methods that I be seeing on the other laces, but I don't know. I've just always been a baby hair girl. I'll experiment more as I go with different type of hairstyles and baby hair methods, but I really like a whole full hairline of baby hairs because that's just been me. take my wax and I'm going to go ahead and mold this hair back and um, take my uh, hot comb of course and flat iron all this hair back go ahead and mold my part in and everything you know do the you know the remaining steps that you're supposed to do when you're staying the lace right them edges is laid now it's just the styling part so we're gonna go ahead and start styling the hair and I that's gonna be that We're gonna go ahead and move on to styling the hair and yeah that hair is all though y'all can't look at this that's beautiful masterpiece it's amazing what these girls can do with <laughs> a little imagination huh <laughs> I'm going to finish the rest of this. I'm going to do pretty much do it off camera. And I'm going to do my makeup because I'm not obviously going to do my makeup all on, on camera. So I'm going to go do my makeup and I'm going to finish my hair. And then I'm going to come back and show you how the finishing results. So give me one second and I'll be right back. All right, baby gang. I had just went and applied some makeup. I changed my shirt. And as you can tell, I got rid of the curls because I just had to... Um, 
my hair was just not acting right for me i don't know if it's an ally express curse or what but um honestly i think that it can hold curl i just think that i'm not using the proper tool um but i'll experiment more with the hair and i'll do that off camera that way when i get back on camera i can look like i know what i'm doing for the most part it does get straight and it gets straight pretty good so yeah like i really really like this look y'all this makeup is banging mug as always then we got this lace coming on it is like down my back i think this is one of my best videos yet if you go back and look at my other videos comparing you know compared to now like i'm starting to definitely get better i'm starting to know and see what i want and how i want my hair to look i kind of said that in the same breath but anyways you guys get what i'm trying to say so I like my nails and my nails are really really cute so it just matches the aesthetic of the whole situation you know what I'm saying alright guys well, enough with the chit chat so like the video of course subscribe to my youtube channel and comment down below and until the next one I am out